Two weeks ago, I put on my ultimate new construction update for Temecula, Murrieta, and Menifee, and now I have my Winchester French Valley video ready to go. There is so much going on here. There's 16 communities I'm going to talk about today. I would argue that there's more going on in terms of new construction in Winchester and French Valley than in all of Menifee, especially in North Winchester. To see the difference between French Valley and Winchester, you can check out this video here where I describe the difference between the two areas. With all of the industry changes and buyers worrying about having to pay their own agent, the builders I'm covering today have confirmed that they will continue to pay your agent. I just have to be with you on your first visit. So take advantage of your free representation and if you want to hear some stories about the pitfalls and the ugly side of new construction, you can check out the video I put out last week, the pros and cons of buying new construction. I have a lot of information coming your way today, including three new developments coming soon I'm going to talk about. Let's get into it. Starting in French Valley, remember that this is the Temecula side of Winchester, meaning that these developments are located within the boundaries of the Temecula Valley Unified School District, which is highly desirable and that is reflected in the pricing you're going to see here. Siena by Taylor Morrison is located at the far north end of French Valley off of Washington Street, with homes dotting the hillside. The largest and most popular homes are at Viola, with specs for all four plans here on the screen. The HOA is $112 a month with total property taxes estimated at 1.85%. The cost of solar is between $130 a month and $175 a month, depending on the floor plan you go with, or you can purchase a system outright for between $20,000 and $24,000. Incentives as of today include $10,000 towards closing costs, which can be negotiated on home sites that are closer to being finished. And there's a rate incentive for conventional loans starting as low as 4.875% with the in-house lender. As of today, they have 19 homes available, all of which are estimated to close before the end of the year, and all floor plans are available to reserve. Final pricing for the available homes, including all options, upgrades, and premiums, lands between $727,000 and $794,000, depending on the floor plan and home site that you choose. Rosa is a collection of smaller, more affordable homes still in Siena and located adjacent to the Viola homes. The HOA and estimated tax rate are the same as Viola along with the incentives, including the closing cost credit and rate promotion. The monthly lease for solar is similar to Viola 2, but the builder has started putting in solar battery backups in the homes here, so to purchase your system outright along with the backup battery, the price is between $35,000 and $39,000 for solar. The backup battery is not optional, it's included in every home. As of today, there are 18 homes available including all floor plans with all homes estimated to be completed by the end of the year. The Plan 5 is the only single-story option in all of Siena, so remember that. Final pricing is landing between $636,000 and $771,000 after all options, upgrades, and premiums, depending on the floor plan and home site you choose. Finally, moving to Azul, these are the smallest, most affordable single-family homes at Siena, with all of the floor plan details here on the screen. The HOA and estimated property taxes are similar to Rosa and Viola, and the incentives are the same including the closing cost credits and rate promotion with the in-house lender. Like Rosa, the homes at Azul are being built with a solar backup battery, so the cost to lease or own your system is similar to the pricing at Rosa. Azul has 11 homes and all floor plans available as of today, all of which are estimated to be completed by October or November. The final pricing is landing between $600,000 and $676,000 after all options, upgrades, and premiums, depending on the floor plan that you choose. This brings me to my first announcement of a brand new development coming to Siena, townhomes called Oliva. These will be townhomes with shared amenities with the rest of Siena, including the pool and clubhouse, and they have released their floor plan information, which you can see here on the screen. Most buildings will have six attached units with the larger floor plans on the ends of each building only sharing one wall, with the smaller units in between sharing two walls. Once the models open and they release the pricing information along with the solar, taxes, HOA, and other information, I will do a full video walkthrough of that development, including full model walkthroughs. Heading into the heart of French Valley, Tierra del Sol by Meritage Homes is just about sold out. They have three home sites left, two residence one home starting at $576,000 and a residence two home starting at $603,000 and final pricing will be determined based on the design package assigned to each lot. The HOA here will be $73 a month and the estimated property taxes are about 1.7%. Incentives will vary on the last few homes but Meritage generally offers between $15,000 and $20,000 towards closing costs and that can be used towards buying down your rate, the cost of solar, or other closing costs. 
They are super motivated to sell these last few homes, so we can ask for extra perks such as appliance packages and window covers to be included in the total price. Lots 4 and 5 will be residence 1, with a shared driveway approaching both homes, while lot 3 will be a residence 2 and will have its own driveway. Jumping up to North Winchester, we'll start with the single family homes at Luminary. This is arguably the most popular community that I'll be covering in this video. There are 5 floor plans to choose from with 18 phases left to be released, 10 of which will be released before the end of the year. The HOA is $36 a month and property taxes are estimated at 1.9%. Solar is $95 to $140 a month to lease, depending on your floor plan, or $17,000 to $18,000 to purchase outright. Current incentives include $15,000 towards closing costs, which can be used to buy down your interest rate, buy down the cost of solar, or cover other general costs. Here is a look at the site map showing four home sites available, all for the Willow Plan 5, and there's a wait list for all the other floor plans. The Plan 5 is not modeled at Luminary, but it is modeled in Lake Elsinore. If you really want to see the home in person before buying, I just have to set an appointment for us to go tour, and that will give you a clear idea of what Willow Plan 5 looks like. Final pricing for the available Plan 5 homes are between $646,000 and $661,000 after all options, upgrades, and premiums depending on which floor plan and home site you choose. Luminary is part of the greater Outlook master development like Copper Sky and Opal Sky. So still in Outlook, the gated communities of Copper and Opal Sky are getting really close to being sold out with just a couple phases left at each. Copper Sky is the detached condos with floor plan details out lined here. The HOA is $157 a month with amenities including a pool with total estimated tax rate to be about 1.85%. Solar is $125 to $155 a month to lease or $19,000 to $20,000 to purchase outright. Current incentives include $15,000 towards closing costs, which can be used to buy down your interest rate, buy down the cost of solar, or cover other general closing costs, just like over at Luminary. As of today, there are two Plan 2s, two Plan 3s, and three Plan 4 home sites available, with final pricing landing between $486,000 and $492,000 after all options, upgrades, and premiums, depending on which floor plan and home site you choose. Opal Sky has the same HOA, estimated property taxes, cost of solar, and incentives as Copper Sky, but has slightly bigger floor plans. It is still located within the gated portion of the community and has full access to the same amenities as Copper Sky, including the pool. Opal Sky has just five homes left, including the three models, which are plans five through seven. The two homes they have available now are both plan five, lots 126 and 128, with final pricing at $514,000 and $517,000 respectively with all options, upgrades, and premiums. Moving to the north side of Dominagani Parkway, Cheyenne at Olivebrook by KB Homes has released their remaining single family homes with 22 sites available as of today. There are six floor plans here with three of the six being modeled. Those are the 1542, the 2519, and the 2874. There is no HOA at Cheyenne, rather there is a dormant HOA, meaning that it could go active at some point, but there is no HOA at this time. The estimated tax rate is about 1.85%, and the cost of solar is around $100 a month to lease, or between $16,000 and $20,000 to purchase outright, depending on the floor plan. Current incentives include $8,000 towards closing costs, or a rate incentive which will be determined based on your financial qualifications. It's a pretty good incentive based on a recent client's experience. They were able to get 5.375% without paying additional discount points. These models will be released in the coming weeks and months once the remaining home sites are sold. At least one of every floor plan is still available here, so you still have options even though they are so close to being sold out. Final prices are landing between $526,000 and $673,000 after all options, upgrades, and premiums depending on the home site that you choose and the floor plan. Still at Olive Brook, Sedona by KB Homes has three floor plans, two of which are modeled, the 1850 and the 2083. The details of the floor plans are here on the screen, and the HOA, taxes, solar, and incentives are similar to all other KB developments in the area, including the $8,000 towards closing costs or rate incentive. There are 20 homes available in Sedona as of today, all plan 1688 and plan 1850. There will be more plan 2083s released in the future, but none are available as of right now. I don't have any specific range for estimated final prices on these homes, so it's a good rule of thumb to add 5% to 10% to the base price you're seeing here. Adjacent to Olivebrook are Pradera Place and Pradera Point by DR Horton. Pradera Place has five floor plans and they're about halfway through production at this point. 
HOA is $120 a month with estimated property taxes around 1.9%. Solar is $100 to $130 a month with $11,000 to $16,000 to purchase the system outright, depending on the floor plan that you choose. Current incentives include $7,500 towards closing costs, plus a rate incentive that is 4.99% for FHA VA financing, or 5.5% for conventional financing. As of today, there are eight homes available here with final pricing ranging from $510,000 to $563,000, including all upgrades, options, and premiums depending on the floor plan and home site that you choose. In the same development is Pradera Point, which also has five floor plans with several phases left to release. The HOA, estimated taxes, solar, and incentives are the same as Pradera Place, and I should mention that there are no major community amenities in the Praderas, including no community pool. As of today, there are eight homes available to reserve with final price ranging from $505,000 to $580,000, including all options, upgrades, and premiums, depending on the home site and floor plan that you choose. At the intersection of Dominagati Parkway and Highway 79, Quartz by Taylor Morrison is about halfway through production with many phases to come which will include all three floor plans that you see here. The HOA is $140 a month after build out and includes a community pool. Property taxes are estimated at 1.7% and while I don't have the exact cost of solar available, it will be similar to the pricing in neighboring communities like Copper and Opal Sky and the Praderas. So low 100s each month to lease. Incentives include a rate promotion just like Siena with conventional loans starting as low as 4.875% with the in-house lender and closing cost credits up to $10,000. As of today, they have 16 homes available, all Plan 1 and Plan 2 homes with more Plan 3s to come in future releases. Final pricing for available homes is landing between $512,000 and $555,000 after all options, upgrades, and premiums, depending on the floor plan and home site that you choose. Adjacent to the single family homes and courts is Towns by Taylor Morrison, the attached condos that are about a quarter way through production. HOA dues are slated to be $253 a month after build out. Note that HOA dues on condos are higher because the association takes care of the entire building, including landscaping, the siding, stucco, and roofing. Property taxes are estimated to be 1.9% and the incentives are the same as courts, including a closing cost credit with the in-house lender and the rate promotion. A big floor plan update at Quartz is that the Plan 3 will no longer be included. The only difference between the Plan 2 and the Plan 3 is that the Plan 3 had a fourth bedroom where the loft is in the Plan 2. So going forward, they only have a Plan 1 and Plan 2 option. There will be no fourth bedroom option at Quartz. As of today, there are four home sites available, two Plan 1s and two Plan 2s. Note that the Plan 2 homes share one common wall with a neighbor, whereas the Plan 1 shares two common walls. Final pricing at Towns is landing between $457,000 and $475,000 after all upgrades, options, and premiums, depending on which floor plan you choose. And finally, I want to mention two brand new DR Horton communities coming to a master development called Canterwood, Juniper, and Willow Point. Both developments will be located at the intersection of Craig Avenue and Eucalyptus Road, not too far from the Menifee development of Breverde. We have the floor plan information for both communities, which you can see on the screen here. And once I have more information regarding HOA, taxes, amenities, solar incentives, and of course pricing, I will make a full length video dedicated to these communities along with full model tours. And that wraps up this massive new construction update for Winchester and French Valley. As always, you can reach out to me if you want to tour any of these model homes and have your representation. Remember, builders pay commissions. As an agent who specializes in new construction, I'm always happy to answer your questions should they come up. So don't forget to follow and catch me in the next video. Until next time, take care everyone.